Hi there, this is Chris from MoneyHub and this video explains text codes. So we've written a guide which is very helpful and it's going to kind of walk you through what you need to know. But basically the fine points are you need to have the right text code when you're working. So the reason is otherwise you'll pay incorrect tax. So you might be taxed too much, uh, which is annoying, and then you'll get a tax refund at the end. But, but there is a risk that you're paying too little tax and then everything will be assessed at the end of the year and you have to actually pay tax and which is usually a lump sum amount. Uh, so the best, yeah, the best approach is really just to do the uh, questionnaire with the IRD. Uh, so Inland Revenue makes this very, very easy. We've linked to it throughout the guide. So you can have a read through, you can see what tax codes are, what they all mean, and then you can also just click any time to the tax code questionnaire. This is the best way to do it. At, at the same time, if you do have any questions, the best people to talk to is the Inland Revenue Department. So they're very friendly people that you can phone up and I've had to deal with them over a, uh, so over the years and I've always got uh, my answers uh, sorted. So what you need to do is click down here is, and then you can say, so you can answer this. What I'm going to do right now is just work through something for someone earning say $70,000 per year and I'll just do it there. So do you receive an income tested benefit? The answer to that was probably going to be no. And then what type of income is this tax code for? So it's, it's $70,000 and that is coming from a salary. There could be a whole bunch of other things here, but generally that's going to be the most common thing. Um, but of course it's not for everybody. And then the question is, is this your main source of income or secondary income? So it's a main income. And then do I have a student loan? So I would answer that as no. And then are you a New Zealand tax resident? I would answer that as yes. And then uh, the last question here is, do you think your income is going to be, but it, is it going to be between 24 and $48,000? I would say no, because I've said $70,000 is what I'm planning to earn. And then view, then view your outcome. So tax code is, so the tax code is M and that's what you'd provide to your, that's what you provide to your. So what you can also do is change uh, certain fields. So if you say, yes, I have a student loan, then you'll get a new tax code, which will be the MSL. Then if you also change it to a secondary income, um, then that's going to throw things off as well. And you'll probably get an, something with an SH in it, which is sort of indicating a secondary income. So there's lots of ways to do this. Make sure it's all specific for you. But at the same time, if you do have any questions, as I say, you've got to contact Inland Revenue because they're the only people that really know uh, this. You can't really ask your employer so much because it really comes down to you and the IRD has more information about you than your employer usually. Uh, so talk to them, they'll help you through it. And then then what I'd suggest is just reading through our guide, you can see that there's an article which I've, which we've linked here uh, for this um, Sad situation of someone who got a hefty tax bill using the wrong tax code and they can get yeah, generally tax codes can be complicated but really if you just do the right process follow the questionnaire make sure it all makes sense double check it all then you will be absolutely fine. Uh, so yeah if you have any questions please comment below and uh, we hope to update this guide as new tax codes are, are released we're not sure if that's going to happen this tax year or next tax year they do sort of bring out uh, new ones once in a while but generally most people you know most working people in New Zealand will have a very similar tax codes which are long-standing ones so thanks very much and do let me know if you have any questions thanks